So now I'm going to briefly demonstrate the digestive system from the mouth ingesting food to the anus extracting it, excreting it even, not extracting. That would be really, really bad if you had to extract it. Well, messed up already. This can go well. The human digestive system is around 30 feet long, um, but for the sake of this, we're just going to do it really small. Um, from that video I watched, yeah, it was uh, a lot more organised. You've got to have the lab and everything. But anyway, let's start. So, start with the mouth, okay? This is the mouth. So, with our own saliva, which we call that, um, playing a big role, you normally have 1 to 1.5 litres a day. The food we eat is too large, so, show you the food. Okay. It's too large to eat, so we have to make it um, too large to swallow, so we have to make it smaller. So, first the beans. Then the banana. Oh, this is our teeth as such, so we chew to make it smaller. So that's not exactly the end of it. Bread. I'm just going to leave my hands a little quicker. Chocolate bars, which I love dearly, and I hate getting rid of them. Such a waste of food. Okay. And then, potato. So, we normally use our teeth, but it's still too big for us to swallow alone. So, we have to use a masher. Hold, please. So, as you can see, it's getting smaller and a lot more disgusting. And I've bent and broken my mash. So this food was not going to go down the stomach if we didn't. And lastly, sorry about that, train. Lastly, we add the coffee. So the salivary glands produce saliva which contains the enzyme animalase which breaks down starch to glucose. So that bread now is being um, broken down into glucose. Okay. After chewing and swallowing, which utilizes the pharynx and the esophagus, the muscles that push into our stomach, this process is called peristasis. So now we've got our stomach, we've got a few enzymes there and acids. It goes in the stomach. This is disgusting. Well, this is what happens in our body, so. Keep going until the majority of it's in there. Okay. So, the, the stomach secretes acids and enzymes. One of them is called protease, which we'll use as that. Okay, so protease breaks down uh, proteins into amino acids, but it works best in um, acidic conditions, and this is still quite neutral. So we add stomach acid or hydrochloric acid in to make it a good pH for it. And we mix it together, nice and red. Okay, so. Through contraction and relaxation, the stomach muscles mix the food and enzymes together. Maybe give it a bit more. There you go. So mix it all together. Okay. Alright, so now that we've done the stomach, we've got the small intestine. Usually it's six meters long, but for the sake of the demonstration, times will do. Okay? So, now we have to somehow put this bag over the stomach into these tights which is incredibly hard to do pause and I'll do it okay so now I'm ready
So, the small intestine likes an alkaline pH. Oh, the stomach. Look at that, that's quite cool. It's nice and big. Anyway, um, the stomach likes an alkaline pH, so we add lipase, which is this, to correct it. Okay. The second rule of lipase is to emulsify, instead of uh, being the alkaline, is to emulsify and break down fats from large globules to small, which increases the surface area of lipase um, and down to working. So the villi absorb the nutrients into the body, hence white stripping. So, nice and wet. Yeah, you know what, I'm just going to squeeze it all as much as possible. There you go. On. So, from the small intestine, um, undigested food goes to the large intestine. Oh my god, that's a lot of food. No. Of which, water is absorbed back into the body. So, there you go. You can see it's a lot of water coming out of this food. Which is going to take a while. And while water is being absorbed, it also takes salt it needs, which is where? Oh, yeah, salt. <laughs> I meant to sprinkle salt, not the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so let's take some more of this water out. Okay. And then, pause. To go into the uh, rectum. Now, the problem is I forgot the vial, which was uh, for small intestine. That's fine. Or was it large intestine? Small intestine. So this is now all the food that's going into the rectum, which then stores it for the anus. Which then looks like this. and gets pooped out ever so that's diarrhea I, i'm not really funny but yeah that is normal poop there you go and that's it that's the digestive system